Hello everyone, dear viewers of my YouTube channel, I continue my journey through the music world. The heroes of today's video are the Pink Floyd group. I have collected for you top 10 interesting facts about this group. Friends, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like, leave comments and share videos on your social networks. Go! Tenth place. At first, Waters, Wright and Mason played in the rhythm and blues band Sigma Six, which, after changing a number of extravagant names, Megadeths, the architectural Abdabs, the Abdabs. The T set, became Pink Floyd. This variant was suggested by Sid Barrett. It came from the names of two respected American blues performers, Pink Anderson and Floyd Council. Ninth place. The band had a state-of-the-art sound system, the main element of which was the quadraphonic azimuth coordinator. Thanks to the device, the music spread throughout the audience with a three-dimensional effect. Eighth place. It still remains the third bestseller in the history of music. The total number of copies sold is over 45 million. It is estimated that this album is owned by one in 12 people in the world. 7th place. During the recording of the album at Abbey Road Studios, designer Storm Thorgerson presented the musicians with seven different designs. When the group members walked in and looked at all the options, they unanimously pointed to the prism design. The whole process took three minutes. When Storm showed us the options, we naturally chose a prism. Perfect cover. And the windows will look great, David Gilmour told Rolling Stone in 2003. Sixth place. According to designer Storm Thorgerson, there are three main elements in the prism. A reference to lighting effects, an integral part of the band's live performances. The symbolism of the triangle, which denotes ambition, one of the dominant themes of the album and simplicity of the image, the designer was asked to do something bold and dramatic, but at the same time extremely simple. By the way, there were Egyptian pyramids on the centerfold, because, according to the designer, they represented a space version of a prism. Fifth place. In the mid-80s, George Waters left the group, thinking it was exhausted. However, David Gilmore did not think so, who invited session musicians. Returned right to the group and began to record a new album, which Waters decidedly did not like. In 1987 he told Rolling Stone magazine, there is no point in Gilmore. Mason or Wright trying to write songs again. They can never do it as well as I did. For Gilmore, the lyrics have always come last. And it will always be so. I think he will share my position. In the end, George lost the trial. Fourth place. Shortly before the release of the 1970 Atom Heart Mother album. Legendary director Stanley Kubrick approached Pink Floyd for permission to use part of the album's 23-minute title track on the soundtrack to A Clockwork Orange, 1971. However. The musicians were not told which parts of the composition would be used and what would be done with them, so they refused the director. Third place. Despite the commercial success of the albums The Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here, Pink Floyd was struggling financially. At the risk. The financial planners invested the group's millions of dollars in venture capital, and those investments failed. This accelerated the band's creation of The Wall, which became one of the most successful albums of all time. Second place. There is a theory that the song, Echoes, from the album, Medal, is an alternative soundtrack to Stanley Kubrick's A Space Odyssey. Some particularly attentive fans have noticed that the changes in the music in the composition take place in sync with the frames of one of the final episodes of the film.
A similar suspicion has already arisen earlier while listening to the album, The Dark Side of the Moon, and watching The Wizard of Oz 1939, first place. The businessman pictured on the cover of Wish You Were Here had to really burn. The album cover features two businessmen shaking hands while one of them is on fire. Incredibly. The photo of the man on fire was not fake. The stuntman, dressed in a fire retardant suit, did burn in the photo shoot. Friends, thank you all for watching. I really hope that this video was interesting to you. I love you all very much. See you later.